I'm going to add a live spider to my Campanota Stove Able Akensis test tube. So I haven't fed them in a few days, and I hope that this will go well. Um, I don't think that the spider will cause too much damage since it's relatively small, and the colony is pretty big. But I figure that it's going to be kind of exciting to watch, so I'm going to film it anyway for you guys. Here we go. Look, there's the spider. Oh crap, I accidentally let it in and it like went all the way back there. So I hope it didn't like bite the queen or anything. This is causing a panic. Oh crap, it got the queen. Oh no. Oh no, it is all out insanity right now over this spider. Oh, the spider is getting killed though. I kind of regret doing this now. I mean, I don't think I'm ever going to feed live again. I just wanted to see what would happen if I did. And I figured I'd test it out on this colony since they're doing the best. But, and since, like, they've been rejecting certain foods and stuff. I figured that maybe this would make them more thankful for the food they get. But, anyway... The spider is in one spot curled up. Looks pretty much dead. There's absolute panic and insanity going on. I think I'm just gonna remove the spider and might just remove the spider because this is kind of sad to watch I don't really like feeding live for this reason I just figured I'd do it once just to try it out um but anyway yeah dang Okay, so I removed the spider just because it was too much of a struggle and I pre-killed them. But the colony is still going crazy. I made sure one ant escaped, but I got him back in, luckily. And yeah, uh, it is kind of chaos and I don't think I'm going to be ever doing that again. I'm probably going to put the spider in now that it's dead. Well, mostly dead. It still moves a little bit. Uh, but yeah, now it'll be a lot less of a struggle for my ants. I just fed my ants a grasshopper and look. The grasshopper has worms. I did some research and I think that these worms might be able to infect my ants. So I'm going to remove the grasshopper. Simple as that. I'm not going to risk it. Look right there at that nasty worm. Do you see it? It's on the grasshopper that I just removed. I'm afraid that this might infect my ants. And um, I really don't want to feed them wild insects anymore. But luckily, look at all the worms I pulled out of it. I used the barbecue skewer. I wouldn't touch these things. They're nasty. But look at all the worms. I pulled out like three really long worms from... Um, this grasshopper. I'm really glad I got it out of this enclosure. Cause I don't want to kick my ants. So yeah. Luckily that fiasco is over and hopefully nothing will come of it. 
I'm going to throw away this paper with all the grasshopper remains and worms on it, and I hope that nothing comes of it, because this worm is really nasty, and I don't want, I don't want it to make my aunt sick. I'm going to feed them some more fruit flies as soon as I start a new fly culture and move the flies to there, and then I can use that old fly culture as a food source for my ants, but yeah, um, I hope that they had enough nutrients. I mean, they're all fat now, because they were eating out of it, but nonetheless, yeah, hopefully nothing comes of it, but I can't promise you guys anything, and I really hope that these guys don't get infected by parasites or something. Ugh. Luckily, my fruit fly culture is booming again with lots of flies, so hopefully I will soon be able to start feeding my ants fruit flies again. Um, I really don't want to risk it with these wild insects anymore. I froze that insect before putting it in, so I'm pretty sure the worm died, but I, I don't want my ants to become infected. I really don't want to risk it. It's not worth it. This is my favorite colony. Um... I fed the last of my frozen ants to my other two colony. I fed the last of my frozen fruit flies to the, my other two colonies tonight. And, um, I didn't have enough to feed this guy, these guys, so I grabbed them a grasshopper out of the fridge that I froze, um, this morning because I caught it and I thought this would be a good food source. But it's got this worm, and I think it's called the horsehair worm or something, and they can infect, um, animals to jump into water so that um the it infects animals and turns them into zombies arthropods um so that they jump in water and um drown themselves so that the um worms can lay their eggs in the water i believe this is that species um i really hope that it didn't infect my ants i hope that i removed it soon enough and yeah the day I am building a new, more advanced type of um, enclosure for my Campanotus Novae Borkensis than I did for my Pennsylvanicus. Um, nonetheless, I've been working on it, and um, hopefully I'll show it to you sometime soon because I'm finishing it up. Unfortunately, I have this drill bit that I really need, and I don't have any way to attach it to a drill, so I'm just spinning it manually. This is going to take forever. But nonetheless, yeah, that's about it, and hope you enjoyed, and see you in the next video.